hello everybody and welcome back to the channel um so i went out guys i went out and this video was recorded on the 11th of july 2021 okay so some of the old or returning subscribers know that i promised to vlog a lot more because i wanted to take you around durban and just show you some of the places that i have been to and also discover new places but that's not what this video is about actually um, the reason why I came out of the house or well, the reason why we all came out of the house was because somebody decided that my earpiece had lived long enough and decided to break them. I'm not just going to tell you who, but one of my children did and that is why we are going out. So obviously from the title, you know that we're going to um, China City and that is somewhere in Springfield. All right, so we are on our way there and the whole family is out it's a bright sunny day this is winter but i'm telling you i didn't have a jacket on the weather was so nice was so calm the breeze was blowing and you know we're just having a very lovely ride so a couple of things stood out on the road i mean personally i just thought that people were just being covid compliant and staying at home um, just staying away because of the level 4 lockdown that was already in place but um, <clears throat> yeah girl she gets strong head we're just going but I, honestly that was what it was to me I just felt like you know people were just being compliant and that was why there were really few road users on the way anyway so we we're just going and uh, here we are on the express and we are just making our way there everyone is sitting pretty in the car the boys are at the back and again i have color coded their outfits people who know me know that i love to do this i love to dress them out in matching outfits it's just something that i've always liked whether they were a girl and boy or boy and girl it's just there's been a childhood fantasy anyway we were just making our way there in fact we were even singing along in the car it was just it was a very nice moment that we're having on the road i personally I miss going out as a family i miss going out you know to the park just take the boys out and just have a nice family day out it, is, it felt like it had been a while and i was just enjoying the ride there see this one he's already sleeping whenever i want to wish where would it go he's already sleeping anyway i tried to distract him and get him up because i wanted him to be active while we were in the car i didn't mind if we, he slept while we got to where we were but anyway see clue number one there were burnt tires in the middle of the road some of the traffic lights had fallen and i was just wondering what exactly had happened but it didn't really click immediately but we were still going we got we almost got to um china city and as we were approaching the place i noticed that you know usually this the t-junction to the entrance of the place it's usually um actually quite chaotic because people are either coming in or going out but my mind i i relaxed when i saw the amount of people or the cars packed in the parking lot so we just made our way in there and you know the cars that were packed and i started to see a little traffic as we were going in so you know nothing really seemed out of place really nothing really seemed out of place so anyways we made our way in and we found a nice spot
And he could be what I like, what I like, what I like But he's got those stranger eyes, stranger eyes, stranger eyes There were a lot of toys in there. They had puzzle pieces, they had um, number pieces. It was just a lot. My son wanted to take everything home, but you know, we had to put our feet down and say, mm -mm, brother, it's enough. It's okay, let's go home. We eventually picked up one or two more things, but you know, children, it's always a bad idea to bring them to toy stores. Anyway, we went to pay and decided to head home Island just as wide. he could be what i like and his voice is just as dark and then as we were going there were other things that caught our eye again we were still malingering and walking up and down and we decided to enter another store oh i saw this uh, stand it had a uh, succulents i am a huge sucker for succulents i love these cactuses and they just i don't know they seem dangerous but i just love them and they, they were really cheap it was three for 60 rands and one for 25 rand so do the math guys anyway so we were heading home and then we uh my son wanted a car he wanted a toy car and we just had to we stopped by at this last store to just get a toy car we were looking for something really cheap because usually these things don't last for more than three days they just they are very inquisitive and they just want to see what's inside anyway so uh they had a bunch of random things and the store was really 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 they had really small aisles so my husband um, went to the back to look for the toy car and my son went with him. So I was stuck in the house with my baby. And so we were just there and we were waiting for them to find the toy so that we, we can pay and go home. Um, the next thing that happened, man, I could not believe how fast things, I mean, things went from like a zero to a hundred in less than god knows how long before we knew it we were shoved to the back of the shop the store owners had closed their doors and there was just commotion everywhere all i could hear was people shouting balega balek and i just I mean, in my mind i didn't know what was going on all that was going on in my head was i need to get my children out of here the look on their faces were terrifying even i couldn't think straight i had to put my camera down you know things just went black from there i was just praying to god that god i need to get my family out of here i was just praying for them to come back and reopen the store and so that we can just go out you know eventually one of the store guys came around and just said we can't stay here we have to go how we got to the parking lot guys i do not know in fact this is a few moments after we got into the car we were speeding like we were being pursued by ham robbers a few moments later the commotion in china mall i couldn't even show you the parking lot i mean when we got there back to our car <laughs> it was just like only a few cars that were left how people left in such a rush i do not know but uh, my people <laughs> it, it wasn't funny it really wasn't funny with children with the stroller i mean we were just in the car here we we're just recanting the experience and we we're just thanking god <clears throat> i was legit terrified my children were scared but you know i just tried to put on the brave front and smile all the way home but honestly inside of me i was just thinking that what just happened what just happened so apparently word had gotten around that some people were coming in a very large number to come and raid the stores 
and we just had to get out of there i mean we were breathing very deeply we were racing very fast we just wanted to be out of the area and frankly speaking as we were leaving there were some police vans already that were already starting to um park around the area and just um try to calm people down or try to calm the situation down we were just recounting our experience all the way home even after we had passed several um safety spots and we were in our neighborhood we were still just very thankful anyway we got home and after a very intense session of thanksgiving let me show you what we got we got a ball a teddy bear um some airpods for my husband uh i got a phone cover for my phone i also got a um, selfie stick to help with the vlog uh my son got this toy car i got my earpiece and we also got a usb cord for my husband <sighs> people i was just taking several deep breaths even while i'm here doing this voiceover i'm still taking several deep breaths just saying thank you god every time i remember that incident because guys it was probably the most scary thing or scary experience that i have ever experienced so here i am just watching my children play with their toy and i'm just thankful to god that we are back home safe and sound and everybody is just you guys I'm, I'm just I'm short of words I'm just grateful to God that I can see my babies playing at home and that terrifying look is off their face I'm just grateful to God all right guys so we are at home now and um, okay, I just showed you a um, few clips of some of the things that we got today in fact <laughs> I'm just short of words but I just wanted to make this really quick outro and just Tell you guys that i'm okay i'm fine if you have not subscribed please subscribe for more content um, like this video it does a lot to help my analytics it, it helps me get more suggestions here on youtube um i know the comment section today eh? no be here no be here all right guys so i will see you in my next video bye bye